Dear friends, this is Anwar Ali from Techno Academy, and in this tutorial, we will discussing about invalid activity and our AdSense account. So, uh, you may know that Google policies clear the invalid activity and your recent update, and if you go to the Edson's policy guidelines of the, about the invalid activity or the invalid traffic, then you can uh, trace what exactly it means. But I will going to um, talk about some things that I mentioned. The first thing is the accidental clicks. And what is the accidental click? If someone, uh, if a user is visiting our website and they accidentally click on an ad, it means that the ad is appearing in inappropriate place which is not appropriate for that are the areas of appearing in a wrong place where where there should not be ads uh, or uh, our essence ads but it appears and uh, um, our uh, our users just uh, click on that accidentally uh, without any intention and uh, the second thing <coughs> about animal activity is the visiting your site uh, 10 time in a day from the same IP. If uh, a user is visiting your website, are you by yourself visiting your website uh, 10 times more uh, in a day, then uh, you can get limited or you can get a penalty uh, due to this because it's considered the invalid traffic and invalid activity. For this, it's having some powerful tools in their dashboard and we can prevent uh, the invalid activity here from AdSense as well. And it's uh, a great um, way to prevent the invalid activity. Let's <coughs> start. We have an um, Active AdSense account here, and it's my AdSense dashboard. And we will just go into um, our ads. I already Mm, disabled the auto ads you know why because the auto ads are the the major cause of invalid activity because mm, users are accidentally clicking the ads because it, it, it appears randomly anywhere uh, in the bottom the top the header and anywhere so user cannot navigate your site easily and user mm, face lots of difficulties uh, and navigating your site content so google adsense consider it uh, difficult to use and difficult for users and they just put a penalty on your site but they they, they will not tell you that uh, if you are placing this um, limitations or penalty due to the auto ads but it's my experience the auto ads are the major um, way the major reasons for uh, invalid activity and another major reasons is uh, when you go to our auto ads if our auto ads are on then we should uh, customize the ads we should place the code and the areas where we want to put the ads where google want to put the ads and where we want to put the ads so uh, it should be where we want to put the ads where we want to show the ads and you should uh, use uh, an extension, uh, a plugin uh, in your workplace to do that properly. I had, um, I had already uploaded a video on that extension uh, in the channel. I will give a link in the description and you can uh, just use that extension to um, put your ad codes where you want to show the ads, not randomly on your site. And <coughs> another way, as the ad units you can uh, create ads units and you can uh, up, uh, show the ads where you want in your content pages and which uh, article you want to use it and another benefit of this ad units are uh, if uh, one of your article are getting lots of views lots of clicks and uh, things and you can put the ad specifically in that article so uh, it will uh, protect prevent you from invalid activity another tool is uh, in our ads that uh, when you click on our by side ads and in the front of the automated ads 
you can uh, just uh, uh, enable the R2 ads but still you can do add formats you, you should select the add formats as well uh, you should uh, optimize it properly and you should tell Google where you want to put that and where you don't okay but the important thing is the privacy message when we enable this privacy message it will just showing a notification like this when a user visiting our website it will ask the user that we are uh, the personalized ads and content ad and content measurement audience in search and product development store and access it will ensure feed.com ask for your consent to use your personal data to personalize ads and content it will just asking for a consent from the user to allow us to show the relevant ad so if so when user just gave the permission and then our site appears the ads then there will be no enabled activity because we had the permission of the user so if google uh, then put any penalty on your website then you can uh, write an appeal that uh, i had already a permission from the user so it's not possible uh, for any invalid activity so it's a great way we should uh, do this we should enable this one as well and another thing consent or manage option we have lots of option okay we can tell our user that you have consent and manage option like this consent manage options a user can allow us or user can give us a, a partial formation a uh, consent do not consent or manage option we can put three options here the one will be the consent another way, do not consent manage options so users users have to do not consent if a user uh, do not allow us to show ads then it's up to them and google won't uh, able to show ads but if uh, lots of users if i visit myself to a side and ask for uh, permission for consent i will just allow them to show ads it's not a big deal and people are not so uh, ads conscious but you can still uh, do that uh, to you have three options as well so it's a great way to prevent your website from invalid activity uh, you should not place ads in inappropriate places on the header and the navigation bar because mm, it, there will be difficulties to the user to navigate your site uh, easily and there will be difficulties uh, to the user and using and reading your site content because as well floating from here to there from there to here and google don't like it and you will get a penalty for that so um, these are some ways that i uh, discussed in this video and the future video we will discussing more about adsense and about the penalties about the um, if your site had a penalty and how you can remove that and uh, lots of tricks and things if you have any question about our um, solutions then you can ask in our comment section or you can contact us through the recommended ways thank you for watching